Good evening. Uh, tonight we're going to have backstrap uh, with wine sauce and what I have here uh, I'm already starting making ready. I have sliced the, uh, the backstrap in medallions and I'm just dipping them in flour uh, before they go on the skillet. I have the skillet set on high and um, we're going to uh, just give them one minute on each side and uh, before we do that we're also going to season them with um, uh, salt uh, or accent and pepper. So um, I'm just going to dip them here in, in the flour a little bit and um, the um, skillet is, is warming up. getting about ready so we'll, we'll just uh, start laying them down here and we're using about half a back strap for this because again we're just two people and uh, so this is uh, if we're very hungry it lasts one day if, uh, one meal if we're uh, moderately hungry it will last for two dinners so um, that's the way we, we do it here. Um, so we're going to um, put them here for just one minute. And uh, I have the heat at uh, fairly high heat, so it will close the, the pores of the meat and keep the juices inside. And The, uh, the accent and the pepper in this bowl here, so we'll just use about half a teaspoon of each. And so and you can start flipping them in about the water that I uh, put them in here. I know it's starting to say. After I'm finished with the, the meat, um, I'll put it in a baking dish or a baking pan, and um, then I will uh, complete the rest of uh, the ingredients that goes into the, uh, the dish. So we we'll have about a minute on, on each side of those. See if blood started coming out, and that's a good sign that uh, they have just gotten enough to uh, so just keep the juices in. So when they're finished here, they go over there and then I will uh, take the mushrooms, the mushrooms I'm then going to uh, bake here or cook here in, in the skillet as well. So um, it's a fairly simple dish. Uh, it's going to take uh, just about 30 minutes uh, to complete in that um, after I've got everything into the baking dish, it's only going to go in the oven for uh, about 20 minutes at 350 degrees. So um, uh, all these uh, other preparations here takes about 10 minutes. So uh, it's about half an hour for for making this dish. So I'll just. And backstrap is delicious, as you know. Mm. Uh, after the tenderloin, it's the nicest piece of meat that uh, we get from the, the animals. So. Oh. Slip. 
So we have about eight ounces of um, uh, baby bell mushrooms here, and so and I slice them with an egg slicer. That's a lot easier than chopping them with a knife. I'm I'm not a professionally trained cook that spent hours slicing stuff, so I go the easy way and um, it works for me and I'm sure it will work for you as well. Uh, just want to when they have uh, been softened uh, I want to sprinkle them with um, some lemon juice. Uh, I've taken about a lemon and squeeze the the lemon out of uh, the lemon, so I have that here. And so um, I just want to to cook a little bit more before I do that. You could use uh, other kinds of mushroom for this dish as well, but uh, I had some uh, baby bells, so I decided that uh, uh, they would just fit nicely here as well. And I would just give them a little bit of seasoning. coming on fire. Oh, I just smell the fragrance of uh, the lemon here. Delicious. And what I'll now do is just take the lemon, or the, the mushroom here with the lemons in it, and just put it on top of the, the meat here in the baking dish. Here. And um, I've already heated the bouillon, so this is beef bouillon. I have one cup of beef bouillon, and so I'll pour that in the skillet. And the the wine I'm going to use tonight is Madeira, and so I have one cup of Madeira. So that's going into the dish as well, and then I'll have some about a clove of, of garlic here uh, in it as well. So I'll just have this cook up a little bit and uh, blend and then I will pour that into the baking dish. Uh, the uh, temperature as I said before should be 350 so I'll start preheating because this here won't take long for uh, warming up and and be ready to pour into the baking dish. So that's that's about it. After I have poured this in, it will go in the oven for 20 minutes and uh, I will cover the dish with aluminum foil and so it will be in the, covered uh, in the oven for, uh, and I think we can turn that off, we've gotten plenty of temperature on the uh, uh, the um, uh, bouillon and uh, the Madeira. We want to keep the taste of the Madeira in uh, the, uh, the sauce. So we're ready to pour it in and uh, we'll do that. And we have 
to do now is take the dish and I have an aluminum foil. And when the oven uh, has been preheated to the 350, I will put it in the oven. And tonight uh, we're going to have the, uh, the meal with uh, potatoes. Uh, regular boiled potatoes and carrots. It's a long time since we've had carrots, so I thought it would be nice to have some red stuff uh, on the dish and uh, have something different than rice, as we are uh, quite often more likely to eat rice than potatoes. So um, I'll put it in the oven and uh, we'll see when it, when it comes out. Talk to you later. We're back and uh, the oven just told us that uh, the meat has been in the oven for about 20 minutes, so um, we're going to take a look. I better remember not to, to touch it. Uh, the aluminum foil is fine. Uh, that won't hold much heat. But otherwise... Mmm! Smells good, and um, the uh, carrots are done, and the potatoes are done. So all we now have to do is get it up on our plate, and uh, we will be ready to uh, have another delicious uh, dinner here for a cold winter night. So hope you will enjoy, and uh, bon appetit.